Greetings, my dear viewers. Today I want to talk a little bit about football or soccer to my US audience. Uh, we call it football here in Europe, so I shall say football, but you know I mean soccer for you. As the title suggests, I want to start with a player called Neymar Jr. A very well-known player in football. A very good player. I mean, people have different opinions as to how good he is. He certainly was very good um, when he was much younger. Some people still think he's very good, perhaps not as good as he was, but that's beside the point. Neymar Jr., and this isn't a breaking story, but I think it's a story, it's a piece of information that not many people know about. So I thought I'd bring it up. He plays for a French football club named Paris Saint-Germain, who unsurprisingly play in Paris. And it turns out that he appears to be getting paid a bonus in his contract for not talking about Jesus. Neymar uh, in the past hasn't been ashamed of his faith. As many Brazilian players are not ashamed of their faith. You know, he'll, he'll pray or he would pray and he would uh, make the sign of the cross, etc. But it seems that his owners or the owners of the club he plays for, let's say, uh, didn't want him to do that anymore. Now, Paris Saint-Germain has a Qatari ownership. Uh, I suspect they are probably Muslim. So this might be the reason it bothers them or bothered them that Neymar was uh, professing his Christian faith quite openly. Whether he was a good Christian is a whole other story. I'm not going to judge him based on that, but he certainly wasn't ashamed, as I said, of his faith. So let's go through a little bit of info on what exactly is happening there. So in this article that was written a while ago, it says, There are reports in the media that Christian footballer Neymar is contractually bound by his team to avoid religious or political propaganda. So they've kind of packaged it together with political propaganda. I think the main thing that they wanted was him not to talk about his faith, but then they put in proper, uh, political propaganda as well, just to make it seem like, oh, it's a general thing. We just don't want him uh, discussing controversial issues. Spanish newspaper El Mundo, and that is the second largest printed paper in Spain, so probably quite reliable, claims this is one of the terms in the Brazilian star player's contract with Paris Saint-Germain. It reports that if he abides by the so-called ethical clause, so that's what's known as the ethical clause, he can receive an additional £461,000 per month on top of his usual pay amounting to about 5.5 million extra a year. Neymar is a committed Christian who has in the past made the cross sign on the pitch, as I mentioned, and worn a 100% Jesus headband that I'll get to in a moment because there was a whole controversy about that as well. He often speaks openly about his Christian faith on social media. The ethical clause requires the player to refrain from political or religious propaganda that could damage the image and unity of the club. What an unusual thing to say. So him professing his Christian faith could damage the image of the club. Political stuff I can understand, maybe, because it's those are hot topics and people perhaps, you know, it, was, it might be a good idea to keep them out of sports. But professing your faith, I don't think... Christians or people of other faiths get offended when Muslim players celebrate on the pitch by getting on their knees and putting their head against the floor to thank Allah for their good performance or the goal they've scored. It also demands that he be courteous, punctual, friendly and available to fans and that he demonstrate exemplary behaviour, especially in the field. Maybe on the field would be better to say. In addition to playing for PSG in France's Ligue 1, he also plays for the Brazilian national team. If the reports are true, it won't be the first time that Neymar has been asked to tone down religious expression. In 2018, the Brazilian Football Confederation, the CBF, banned the national team from religious celebrations. He isn't the only one showing his Christian faith on the field, so generally Brazilian players often show their faith on the field as you can see here in this article. Fellow Brazilian football stars Kaká and Lúcio, who were former players, 
were also known for demonstrations of faith during matches and wearing t-shirts with Christian slogans like I belong to Jesus. I think that was one that uh, Kaka famously had when he, well, I can't remember if it was whether he's, when he celebrated a goal or at some point he took his shirt off and you could see the I belong to Jesus underneath that he had. Their displays of faith prompted football's governing body FIFA. You may have heard things about them, rather a lot of corruption going on at FIFA and has done for a long time. Um, it prompted them to send a warning letter to the Brazilian Football Federation back in 2009 to remind them of the relevant regulations so that such incidents do not reoccur in the future. So, as I suspected, it probably wasn't something that bothered the Brazilian Football Confederation, but it bothered FIFA. They didn't like the fact that these Brazilians were showing their faith and having shirts underneath their, their football shirts that said they loved Jesus and so on. So they warned the Brazilian Football Confederation to do something about it. But just a, a brief thing about what we saw earlier in his, uh, you know, Neymar, who has had a 100% Jesus headband. So he had this headband. He put it on after the team he played for at the time, Barcelona, Spanish team from Catalonia. Although I know some Catal people from that area would probably consider themselves not Spanish. But anyway, a team that plays in the Spanish Football League, Barcelona, they won the Champions League in 2015. And during the celebrations, Neymar put a headband on that said 100% Jesus. Now, I'm going to open up an article about this because FIFA actually censored this. There you can see a picture of the headband that he had on. And when the Barcelona players were lifting the trophy, celebrating after the match, you can see suddenly it no longer says 100% Jesus on the headband. So let's have a little read of this. During Monday's Ballon d'Or, so the Ballon d'Or is basically a, it's a trophy they give for the best players uh, that, that season, basically that year. Um, and a number of very good players turn up and then some of them win the Ballon d'Or. Uh, so during the Ballon d'Or in Zurich, FIFA erased the words 100% Jesus from the headband that Neymar was sporting in one of the videos screened at the event. So basically during this event where they were going to hand out these trophies to players, they were showing some clips from, you know, some great moments that season and one of them was Barcelona lifting the trophy and they I think Neymar was nominated to win this so they showed Neymar lifting that trophy and of course he was wearing the headband and people realized hmm, hold on a second did his headband not say 100% Jesus on it and suddenly it doesn't say that anymore so it says the Brazilian staff basically put the headband on um, after the Champions League final in Berlin and proudly wore it during the trophy celebrations. However, when the world governing body showed footage of these scenes during the video, introducing Neymar as one of the three Ballon d'Or finalists alongside Leo Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, the message had been blurred out. So a correction that I think the Ballon d'Or is essentially one trophy that they just give to the best player that season, or whoever has been voted the best player. I don't think it's a number of trophies. I think it's one. And he was, alongside Leo Messi and Cristiano, nominated as one of the three who should get that trophy. And during the video package, uh, they literally blurred out the part that said 100% Jesus on his headband. FIFA justified their actions by saying that the decision was made to avoid offending attendees and viewers' sensibilities. Again, this argument for not wanting to offend people because Jesus really offends people. You know, do these things really offend people? You keep reading stories about this Christmas trees taken down or nativity scenes so that they don't offend people. Now this headband with Jesus on it might offend people. The way I understand it, in Islam, they're very reverent towards Jesus as well. They don't see him as the son of God, but they're very respectful of him. So just a sign saying 100% Jesus, I don't know if that would offend Muslims. So who is it offending? So that's that story. Again, Jesus causing more problems in football. They don't like the fact that he's on there. And before I end the video, I want to show you one more story. This is related to probably the biggest European football club. Possibly even the world's biggest football club, the most successful football club. Real Madrid, also from Spain. They had a whole incident. 
If we look at this article in Marca. This is again from a few years ago. Real Madrid logo won't feature Christian Cross in Middle East clothing deal. So here we see the two logos. The one on the left is the actual Real Madrid logo, their crest that they have on their shirt. And you can see on the top of it that there is a, a little cross. Not that big and noticeable, but it's there on top of that crown. And on the right hand side, it's gone. There's no more cross. And the reason for that is as follows. The club crest of Spanish football team Real Madrid will not feature the traditional Christian cross on clothing sold in some Middle East countries under a regional deal. Marca, a retailing group in the United Arab Emirates, has been granted exclusive rights to manufacture, distribute and sell Real Madrid products in the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, Bahrain and Oman. The company said... On, in a statement on Tuesday. But Marca Vice Chairman Khaled al Meira told Reuters by phone Real Madrid has two versions of the crest for the Middle East market and that Marca would use the one without the Christian cross due to cultural sensitivities. Now you would think when this suggestion is made, Real Madrid would say, hold on a second, no, no, no. This is our logo. It has a cross on top of it, on top of the crest. You either take it or leave it. But no, sadly, they did not do that. They said, OK, you're paying us a lot of money, so sure, we'll get rid of the cross. They essentially sold the cross for money. We have to be sensitive towards other parts of the Gulf that are quite sensitive to products that hold the cross, said Almeida, who owns a Real Madrid cafe in Dubai. The six Gulf Arab countries where Marca will sell and distribute Real Madrid products are all Muslim majority. Now, they're already selling that. I don't know if they still sell them, but as I said, this is a story from a few years ago, so they were selling them. Maybe they still are selling them without the cross. I'm not sure. Probably. The redesigning of the crest would require only a slight change. The original features a small cross, as I said, at the top of the crown on the crest. The agreement allows Marca to sell clothing such as T-shirts, polo shirts and swimwear featuring the Real Madrid name and crest. Sales will start by March. They've already started, obviously, a long time ago. Almeida said, Almeida, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it looks like Almeida, Almeida, sorry. Maybe Almeida, not Almeida. The deal does not cover replica jerseys, which are sold in Dubai featuring the cross. Real Madrid, did, Real Madrid did not immediately respond to an emailed request for comments. Such a shame. So there are just some examples of football players being paid not to promote Christianity and even a football club being paid not to promote Christianity. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I wish you a blessed day.